Hello, and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode on GTA 5 with the van and uh, unhelpful passenger. I guess in the shootout, the body got stuck through the rear doors of the van. Now, this happens sometimes in GTA 5, certainly not the first time to have seen weird occurrences such as this. The thing is, the bouncing around normally, that's one thing. It's, it just starts driving forward. I guess physics has just had enough and can't decide where to go. We're spinning and spinning and now we're flying up through the air until the body's eventually flung free. I mean, the van's gone almost above the wind turbine height. So that's some serious distance right there. That might be the most spectacular instance I have seen of that. A reprop next on Crackdown 3 uh, goes to Booper Robot and, well, the robot wins that fight. I, mean, I can't even... it's spinning so quickly I can't even tell if it's rolling or twisting or quite what's going on. What I do know is you'd be very, very poorly. And I'd be very dead, in fact, in that with the G-forces going on. Uh, don't boop a robot with whatever futuristic car that is. The robot really will win that fight. Very convincingly. Uh, drive, drive up next on Farming Simulator 19. Speaking of things, spinning wildly out of control for no good reason. So here we have a kind of flatbed truck sort of thing, uh, loaded up with stuff heading back, or heading to somewhere, uh, that I guess, again, the physics engine's had enough of it, it's gonna completely and utterly lose control and flip onto its side and then onto its roof, that's apparently where it wanted to be. That was the state that it wanted to be in, it was upside down. Um, yeah, I don't know, I guess something to do with the load on that caused issues, but there we have it. Hyperhelium up next on the crew. Now they go to join a police chase at the very second that they have an accident with an AI car and this causes some issues for the game because it doesn't quite know where to put them at all. In fact, I'm not quite sure what you'd be doing as a bike in a police chase, but regardless, it's having trouble. It's somewhere stuck spawning through the floor and it is not going to be going anywhere anywhere soon. It just keeps teleporting back to this same location. Uh, so, yeah, not not the most helpful of things. In front of the Fox, up next on uh, Hotshot Racing. Uh, this is a really rather wonderful game. Uh, driving, these are the Cops and Robbers game mode. So he's out uh, towards the front of the pack, gets a little bit battered by the police cars, as is the way that it works. It's a big sideswipe from one of the police cars that actually fires the player car through the world. This one, though, does at least get reset. Yes, the Ferris Police Department in here are quite powerful. You know, they managed to fire the car out of the map, but at least the game does reset it and gives you a little bit of a chance, you know. That is that is something in all of that. Uh, Zack Attack up next on SnowRunner. Now, they are towing a rather large truck with a vehicle of their own. And uh, so they, they drop the truck off, I think, behind to go and sort of navigate the next hill and then go back to drive the vehicle themselves, rather try to have it towed up the hill, you know, fearing something might have gone wrong. <sighs> the thing is... <laughs> This is no runner and something has gone wrong before they got to that stage. Yes, the truck that they were towing uh, has managed to weld itself through the floor. The fuel, ta the fuel trailer, sorry, has glitched under the bridge and everything's gone horrifically wrong. Yes, towing trucks in Snow Runner is often a recipe for disaster. This much we do know. This much we do know, and SnowRunner Physics will do what SnowRunner Physics does. Uh, angry Emu up next on Euro Truck Simulator, also with some angry physics. Uh, racing around, goes for a gap that is not quite big enough for the truck, or just doesn't quite get it positioned correctly, and it's a big old crash for the Volvo. And then everything gets glitchy and shaky. Yep, this one's stuck on the barrier, the trailer's jackknifed, and all sorts of things have gone wrong for it. Uh, it's the cab of the truck that's having a bad day. It's at a very... that's not an angle. That's not an angle it should be at over there. Uh, it's not been a good time. Uh, Wolfie up next on Street Legal Racing Redline with the AI doing AI things. I don't quite know. It seems like the pickup truck wasn't quite pathed correctly to make it around that corner. It just turned into the lamppost, into the traffic lights. And with those falling down, now they don't quite know what to do other than when they do make contact with it, they glitch and bounce around something horrible. After their little glitchy bouncing around session, they then drive off as if nothing has happened. Just leave the lamppost in the middle of the road, as you do. Uh, and M8 GTE on WRC8 is uh, racing around and gets things a little bit wrong with the Fiesta. Now, we've seen many a time the rolls and recovery and so on. This one here, though, we're going to go for a front flip and a double front flip and a cartwheel and just about landed, pointing the right direction. Actually, not bad. <laughs> It's a big shunt. It is a big shunt indeed. Uh, Skull up next on R Factor, racing one of the Daytona prototype cars. It's at Road America. Uh, runs a little bit. Well, I say runs a little bit wide on the exit of the corner. I mean that's barely, barely a wheel uh, across the curb. And nope, 
The game is having none of that. I mean, that is how you stop track extending. Yes, if you dare put a wheel even close to the grass. Nope, we're going to throw your car across to the inside and break everything of it. Yep. Uh, LMP Dragon up next is on uh, Car X Drift Racing Online, and they've found a peculiar thing that goes on. These, I presume, are some sort of just like senior or like decoration vehicles around a track. And what happens is if you bump into one, I guess it goes sort of goes far enough away, it then gets reset. But if you have a car parked where it's going to get reset, the game doesn't know what to do. So it <laughs> just pings vehicles around. It just launches vehicle about uh, vehicles about the map, and you can keep doing this until all sorts of weird things happen, like that one, for example. Vehicles get stuck together. Yeah, basically, it turns out toy around with the uh, track scenery too much, in this case a truck, and it might launch you all the way across the map. You know, as as track scenery should. And finally we have a busy scientist up next on War Thunder, so <laughs> driving around, minding their own business in this tank battle, and look to the skies, <laughs> for there is a flying tank! Quite where it came from, I have absolutely no idea. Quite how it ended up, because it does indeed need a repair, I would imagine that would be the case. I don't know where it came from, how it survived and didn't instantly die, um, it's just dropped from the... Can you plane drop? I don't think you should plane drop tanks in, and if you do, I feel like you might want someone to slow them down, not just plow them into the floor. Regardless, how it happened, I don't know. Quite entertaining, I must, I must say. Uh, that, though, is going to be it for this video. As ever, if you have clips like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, at the very top of the page uh, is the Ferris Clip Submission section, and there you can find all the rules and how to submit them. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.